Hey, y'all. Welcome back. Y'all, and welcome if you're new. Y'all, listen. I got a jewelry bag. This jewelry bag I've had for a couple months now in my stash. This is nine. It was $8.98 from Plaza Thrift. Bunch of jewelry. It looked like somebody had um, put a hole in the bag and they double bagged it because it looks like it's two bags on here. But anyway, I didn't notice it when I bought it, but I noticed it when I just snatched it out of the, um, out of the, I'm trying to see how they have it. Yeah, it looks like it's two bags or something. I don't know what they did. But anyway, um, let's look at this and see what's in here. Uh, today is Vlogtober Day 8. Y'all, your girl's doing it. All right, so let's see what we got. Let's see how we can get into this. Okay, here's, yeah, it was two bags. I knew it. And a lot of the time, see, eight ninety eight. Yeah, I knew that because the bag just seemed too thick. Yep, here we go. Look at it opening up. So somebody had opened the bag. Okay, let's see what we got. Okay. They, we got, ooh, what is this for? Hold up, y'all. Got some coins from somebody. Oh, <laughs> where a kid could be a kid. 2000. Eight, <laughs> a bunch of different years where a kid could be a kid. You know what that is. Chuck E. Cheese. Is this one the same? Yep, all of them are. This isn't. Oh, I could, have, I could go ball out on Chuck E. Cheese. Look at that. So we got a bunch of coins from Chuck E. Cheese. Um, a little zebra. This isn't silver. This fell out the bottom. It's a little charm. Uh, another little charm. Does it say anything? No, nah, it's a little turtle. Why it's in plastic, I don't know. But a little... Uh, it ain't even that heavy. It's a little stupid turtle right there. See? Then we got a stretchy bracelet. It needs to be restrung. Oh, it's broken. But you know what, y'all? Christmas ornaments. Think about this stuff. $8.89. Let's see. What, I mean, $8.98. Let's see what we pull out. This could go on one of them clear balls for a Christmas ornament. You know, crafts. You can get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of them out of this. Go, go get y'all some. Now we got another pin that says, um, let's see here. Boil something. I don't know, y'all. It's a business. Okay, let's see if it, because it looks copper. It's not marked, no. Okay, looks copperish. Cute little pin, though. I mean, for somebody's business. Ain't nothing exciting. Another little pendant, a kid's pendant, right? I don't know. A backpack and a cooler. And, a, um, you know, a thermos. Okay, another little earring. Looks, let's see what we got here. Nothing. Wait a minute. Hold up. I said nothing too fast. Look, wishful thinking is for me to see a... Now I don't think it's no engraving. But it's a gold tone earring. Cute. It looks like it could have been something. I'll double check that later. Another little, um, this is a little pin, like a collared pin, pin for your collar. I had my light, my, um, what's my call it light? What is this thing called, y'all? My, um, ring light. Let's see. Can you see that better now? Yeah. A little angel pin, like a, a lapel pin. That. And then this is another little charm of an angel praying. Y'all, you know, these little things. I don't know if y'all can see this or not, but there you go. Little angel praying. Um, oh, this is one of those things that slip over a chain. This could be painted. You see how it slips and you can run your chain or your rope or whatever through there. And it's a little pendant, a heart pendant. Yeah. A heart pin. Just got the pin on the back. Uh, what's this? A bracelet. The little wood beads and um, whatever these little white things are. Then we have a gold tone. This is not a watch unless a watch slipped over it. This is a bracelet that goes, remember those sets back in the day that came with a watch and a matching bracelet? This don't even close no more. Oh, wait, did I have it wrong? Look, remember the matching that matched your watch band and it was a bracelet? <laughs> okay, we have a necklace here. Ooh, this is big one. Look at that. This is big and bold. How's oh, okay. This is caught up in here. Wait a minute, y'all. I'm gonna show you. Cause some I know y'all remember this. Some of y'all remember these. Look at this. Peg Brady. I meant Bundy. What's her name? <laughs> Peg Bundy. You know what? This might be fun. 
in the summertime with, and it's still beautiful here, summer wise. Um, we're in the eighties now. Finally, Texas is getting a break and we're in the eighties. It is the, my most favorite time of the year, fall, when we get to a real summer, you know what I mean? Like in the eighties, really nice. But anyway, look at that. This would be cute with a, um, like a t-shirt, uh, dress and having this big and bulky around your neck. I call this neck candy. I, I like that. It's orange and yellowy orange. Really pretty. I like that. I wouldn't wear it at this point in my life because I don't, you know, go nowhere. But I think that's cute. Another pin. I, I I'm going to stop short of calling that a brooch. Okay, another neck. This got a bunch of necklaces. Look at this. So this is cute. Look at the colors in there. It's that, uh, like, so is this rose quartz? Yeah, actually, this is rose quartz. This is stone or glass. No, this is rose quartz. Look at that, y'all. And then you have whatever this red glass or stone or whatever. That's glass. But yeah, that rose quartz is, is nice on there. It's a cute little necklace. Probably something department store-ish. Um, this is another little pin. It has a little pin on the back. More Chuck E. Cheese. I'm balling at Chuck E. Cheese, y'all. Look at this. All of that. I'd be like, Chuck, you get out of my way. Let me play them games. I ain't been to Chuck E. Cheese since my granddaughter was a little thing. Um, Daytona Beach. Looks like this might have been part of a keychain or something. It says Daytona Beach on there. It's broken. Then we got a little owl. Look at his eyes. I don't know what he's supposed to be or what he go. Oh, maybe a chain or something goes through to his little ear, a little eye there or something. Because he doesn't look like he could connect any other way. Here is a Timex watch without the band. It's Timex LA Cell. I don't know, but, you know, some of these watches still have some value. A little Timex watch, but no band. Put that over there. Oh, look at this. And this is not hooked to anything. Look at that, y'all. A little mini, um, what is that? Silhouette thingy? That's cute. That's nothing. Okay. Another necklace. Look at that. All of this, $9. Oh, you know what? This has some age, too. If this ain't early, like this might be 80s, early 90s, department store. Let me see if it has a tag, hanging tag or something. I don't see one. But no name. It's not a name brand, but that's what it reminds me of. And then here's another necklace. Long, faux pearls. I do believe. And um, wait a minute. They might. Let me say. Oh, no, they're faux. Yeah, faux pearls. Faux pearls on a chain. And it's just a very long chain. So you could double it up and um, layer it if you want. Look at that. Cute. Cute little necklace, though. Not in bad shape. Um, Faux earring. A little uh, faux diamond. And what else is in here? Oh, this is cute. Little bracelet. Are these glass beads? Yeah, glass beads on a necklace. Pink. Very pretty. I mean, that necklace bracelet. Stretchy bracelet. Then we have another pin that says what? Somebody's volunteer. Somebody's beauty something volunteer. I don't know. It's a little uh, pin. Tie tech like pin. Uh, another little charm that's a cross. And that's not silver. Look at that. Just a, it can go on a chain or whatever you want to put it on. And a button cover. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Those were the days. Oh, this is cute. A uh, little faux earring. Nah, and I dropped it. Oh, no, I didn't. It's right here. Little faux earring. Whatever it's supposed to be. Maybe faux opal. Stick back. One of, a back to one of these pins that we've been finding. So let's see. Where's that one I just had? That I threw over here somewhere. I don't know, y'all. Yeah, this bag was ripped up on the side, too. Not only was it opened at the bottom, it was ripped up on the side. All right, well, whatever. Okay, that's the back goes for a pin. Uh, another necklace. This is wood, though. It has glittery balls on it and um, just a regular, it's like an, uh, oh gosh, remember this fuchsia color that was really big out at one time? Yeah. 
This could be a nice bag of necklaces sale. Um, look. Glass beads in this black with the little silver inside. It's not it's not a sterling silver or marked, but it's glass, black glass beads with the little silver toned accents. Really cute necklace. Nice, that's real, nice and heavy. That's got some weight to it. Here we go, a little cheapy. That's cheapy. Plastic turquoise color beads and plastic gold beads. And then, oh, these here are the worst. That's on that ribbon. I don't know who thought to make that, but just to me says germs. And here's the little dangle that dangles down. Now, again, these could be reused and strung on something else and turn into a nice necklace for a crafter. That would be cute though. But that ribbon, I don't know when they came up with that or why. Here's another plastic stretchy. Um, what is this? This is got a brass piece. And I don't know what this is. It's like plastic, but it has a little brass sun right there. It's not marked. But these are plastic, the little stretchy beads. Okay, let's see what we got here. Oh, another. This one is the faux layered, you know, because it looks like it's just got the, it looks like you layered it up. Cute. And it's fuchsia, uh, like a royal shocking blue, and then a navy blue on a silver, rope, silver tone chain. Okay, what we got here? What we got here? Oh, an earring. I was like, what is this thing hanging off of this? It's an old earring <laughs> that got caught on it. One second, y'all. Let me get that off. Hold up. This is caught some kind of way on this piece. I don't know how that's caught on there. I'll get it off later. Let's just act like we don't see it right now. Okay. This has a little gold ch tone chain too. It's a cute brick. I like that. I really like that. And look at the um, what you call what's my baba? The clasp, really cute. But it has this little stupid earring stuck on it. I would have to get that off of there. Here's a little gold gold tone heart, and it says love, Lana Lou. Miss Pageant. Oh, somebody's pageant. Nineteen sixty. Nineteen. Or either the birthday? Oh, she's the hostess? I don't know. Somebody was born in 1966, y'all. I don't know. But it's a little heart pendant. Looks like it goes on a bracelet or a necklace or something. And then Lana Lou, I guess, is the winner. I don't know. Okay, look at this. Now, is this... I'm thinking this is Mother of Pearl, y'all. Look at that. Mother of Pearl. And then it has that. Look at those layers in this that's inlaid in there. And then it's brass on a brass bracelet. You see, you got that um, opaly colored of the mother of pearl. And then you got two more colors here, which is like a blackish color with a piece of brass going through it. Cute. I like that. Set that to the side for me. Clean that up. Okay, we got this. It got a tag on it. So let's see who made this. Express. Okay, hold on, y'all, hold on. Let's see what we got. <laughs> okay, again, neck candy, cleaned up. I mean, it's got some fading to it, so clean it up really good. But you can get a wear out of this, especially this kind of metal over a turtleneck or something, like a mock turtleneck. So this actually lays on the fabric and not your skin, because this right here would eat me up. But that is a rather cute piece. Chocolate brown turtleneck, y'all. Look at that. After it's cleaned up. Look at that. With that orange and gold. Pretty. I like that. All right. What is this? Oh, more Chuck E. Cheese, y'all. More Chuck E. Cheese. We going after this. We going straight to Chuck E. Cheese. All right. This right here goes to something. Okay. So all I got to say is, okay. This looks like somebody made it to hang on... Um, a necklace or something. Okay. Oh, this is cute. Hold up. Let me take this tag off that the thrift store puts on. Okay. Uh-oh, we got something hooked on here. Wait a minute, y'all. Wait a minute. Let's try to get this loose. Okay, that's two necklaces. Look at this. Again, look at these colors for fall. 
coral, right? It needs to be cleaned up and chocolate brown and then a lighter coral, a uh, corally clear, corally pink. And it's nothing ex um, ex overly expensive. Looks like these are wood beads and then these are painted wood beads. And then this is like a plastic. And then it comes down with this little dangle here in the front, like a chain piece. But look at this and it's doubled, right? So you get that layered look over a nice turtleneck or some type of sweater or something like that for fall. That is really nice. I like that. One of these stretchy chain-like bracelets. And then we have this, and this is what? Not marked. Okay. But it's a cute, again, a cute little costume piece. I This right here would eat my neck up. But look. It's one of them ones with the three different um, size stones. Crystals of some sort. Yeah, nothing expensive, but cute. Another watch with no band. This is by who? Uh, Bulova. Oh, Bulova. Okay, Bulova. This looks like it could go on a clock too. You see how the back of it is? It looks like it could slip into one of them clocks. This is by Bulova. Nice brand. Cute. Here's a letter. Oh, um... And not letter, page holder. You know, for the Bibles, they sell these in a lot of the um, religious stores. But they sell them in all stores. But that right there reminds me of one from the relig a religious store or something. Okay, look. Another one, costume necklace. Cute little pieces. Again, nice for fall. Even summer, that's for any color with those corals and turquoise. And then you got the dark color black and clear. Cute. We got us a stretchy. But it has red stones in it, and it's gold tone, in very good shape. Another one that matches a watch. You know, you have this on next to a watch back in the day. But it has little red stones in it. And then we have this bangle. Silver tone with little, um, that's plastic. Little beads in there. But it's stationary. It's a cute little bangle. Okay. I'm trying to get through this so I don't hold y'all too long. Okay, we got a couple necklaces. Look like we got a little tangle. Let's see if I can open this one up. I'm not going to spend too much time on it if I can't. Oh, wait. Is this something tangled in here? It might be. I don't know. It's by that brand NY. Look. See that? I'm not going to untangle it. But these, remember these were out. Burlington Coat Factory. You can get these little necklaces and stuff. And then we, oh, this is cute. It's not marked, but this stone reminds you of like a rubberized um, or uh, it looks, has the look of soapstone. So this looks like it could easily be um, one of them emu people or um, a rocker or something like that. Look at that. So I, even a man could wear that. That's a nice piece. It's made very well. Here's another bangle, black with gold on the sides. And, oh man, look at that. <laughs> Purple and, didn't we ha already have some? Look, oh man, look at that. This could go with that. <laughs> That's an old earring, old clip-on earring, but you can make that into a brooch. Okay, we got this. Big old faux pearls. Freshwater, faux freshwater pearls. They're not real. Ain't no way this is real. I know that. I'm looking at it. This is by who? Got a tag. It's vintage. JS. I don't know who that is right now without looking it up. But that's a pretty necklace. And still in very good condition. It's not even faded out. Sit that right there. Look a little further into that. What's this? This is cute. I don't see a marking where it's silver. Hmm. This is by, oh, A.E., whatever that is. Look. Has that look like it was silver? And then look at this. Can y'all see that? It's pink and like a silver tone. Yeah, cute. It's dainty, it's cute, it's dainty, but it's nothing expensive. Another page holder. That looks like, you know, Chatted's Day, a little cheapy. And then we have this, and this has a tag too. It's by Robert Rose. Robert Rose always had a nice brand. It's a nice, this here might be 
like 15 bucks, probably. I'm guessing. I don't know. But it's Robert Rose, so maybe even 20, 25. I don't know. But it looks like it is turquoise chips on it. And then, I don't know. I'm going to look it up. I am going to sit here, dip there and look that up. Because I know that brand isn't bad. Here's another. Oh, gosh. Wait till I show y'all this ring. Look at that. You see this ring, right? But look at this. Remember these plastic big old rings? I can't even get it. I don't even want it on my hand because I don't want to try not be able to get it off. Remember those big old baubles? Okay, here's another one. Costume piece. Look at that. Does this have a tag on it of some sort? Somebody's name? No. Nobody's name, but cute. Wait, wait till you see this. Y'all remember these. Oh, wait a minute. It does have some. It says 13. And then on this side, it says what? Oh, wait. SJ. Same as the other one. SJ. And Avon, maybe? No, it says something else. I can't see it right now, but look at this. Remember these? Y'all, I remember I used to wear these. I'm not going to sit here and tell you no story. They look really nice with a nice suit. And if the suit, you didn't want to wear the shirt with the suit back in the day, that's how we used to do it, and button up the double-breasted suit and throw this on for neck candy to fill in the chest area. Yeah, that was the thing back in the day, y'all. Mm-hmm. All right, we got a little bit left. Let's get through it. We got a... Uh -uh. A little bracelet, a stretchy bracelet with purple. Again, what is with this purples and stuff? And then we have this necklace. And this is not marked with a store or anything. Uh, here we go. Oh, wait. This is from the thrift store. They put these on here. I can't get it off, but look, y'all. These little things like that. Yeah, nothing expensive. Oh, man. Watch out. I'm going to take y'all back to a time where groceries didn't cost that much. Look at this. <laughs> Watch out. Watch out, Jack. Hold up. I can't even get it right. I done messed it up. Oh, man, all this layering. That was the thing about these necklaces. Now I see why they're not even in style anymore. It was just so much work. Look. And wait, and this is this pleather is the necklace. Now, this would still really be nice if you would add, and I, and I guess if you hid that because this wouldn't aggravate your neck as much as fake gold. But again, look at these fall colors, y'all, with the turquoise and that bright green and dark green, that's really pretty. Okay, now we're almost done. We got this one. I don't know, where is this one? I'll see that in a minute. This one right here. It's a long necklace. Long, um, you know, gunmetal color. It's a gunmetal. Metal. And then that dangles. That's cute. I just dropped this one. Oh, this is one of these. Okay. It's tangled up, but this says what? Scorpio. And it has the Scorpio um, thing on here, right? And it goes through like this, right? Wait. Let me just go. Yeah. And then that's how you wear it, like this, with the Scorpio. And it dangles, and it goes around your neck. It's cute. Got a pair of earrings. Again, purple. Can go with anything over there. Little cheapies. And we have this necklace. Does this have anybody's name on it? No, but this got some good age to it. Good age. Look at that. It doesn't have a clasp. It's just really long with these station pieces. And um, again, a little dull, but could be cleaned up. Then we have this necklace. Bag of necklaces. That's what we're going to call this. Look at that. Look like flies. Look, that's not bad either. Again, another nice piece of over a sweater or a um, turtleneck. That would look really cute. And we got us a little faux earring. Broken. And that's it. A ba earring back that's broken. Okay, that's all we got, y'all. So I hope you guys enjoyed a bunch of necklaces today. And um, for $8.98, that was not bad.
This is what we're dealing with in Texas now. I haven't been down to a couple of the other stores I used to get jewelry from in a long time. I might go, because I had these stacked in my closet, um, I hadn't really been looking for any. So I was in there today and I said, oh, I can do a jewelry bag. Anyway, guys, thank you for joining me. I appreciate you. I appreciate you guys. I'll see you tomorrow probably in person. <laughs> More of me. Today is get these nails done. Home. I do them, you know, I do them myself. Dye my hair and blow it out. And that's what I'm getting ready. And then cook. All right, y'all. I'll chit chat with y'all later. I appreciate it. Don't forget to like the video. And uh, don't, guys, don't be shy to share. Don't be shy. Don't think, oh, she's going to have a problem with me um, sharing. No, she don't. Hit that share button and share me with your friends. All right, y'all. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.